Hey guys, Zuljan here and welcome back to another episode of Dead in Vinland. We are looking at day 15, tribute, 6 days, 30 wood. That means 5 wood a day just to meet the minimum. Plus anything that we need to craft, including arrows for food now. It's going to be kind of crazy. So let's take a look at what we have going on today. Um, we probably don't need her in here. Uh, she could probably use some rest and some drinking, to tell you the truth. So, uh, we're going to need to do healing today and all sorts of stuff, too. It's going to be a crazy day. Uh, let's go to the first deal. And we'll look at healing. Let's see. Prepare healing items. Focus on disease. Focus on wounds. Uh, let's see. Lower sickness patients. By 14 to 24, adds a chance to remove random disease. And prepare healing items. We can make bandages, which have a chance to remove a random wound trait. We have this, that random disease trait. We're not going to make any of those right now. Uh, we're going to focus on disease. There we go. And uh, you know who's coming in here, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, we need a medic. So, her healing is 39. Who else has decent heal? I didn't think that that was a thing. Like, you need two people to work this station. Um, okay. So, we need to look at the healing skills here. Let's take a look at character sheets and see where we're at. Uh, healing is going to be in concentration. Blotowid, oh, oh, well, more, of course. Actually, Lady Tomo is really good at this. Mm hmm, okay. Lady Tomo, it is. All right, beautiful. Uh, then, for rest, we're gonna go ahead and grab her. Uh, now let's see. For crafting, we need to finish off these arrows. I don't think we need Eric to do this, honestly, but who else to do it right now, you know? It's only Kari. Kari can probably... Kari can probably finish the crafting, but her scavenging is going to be pretty good right here. Actually, yeah, I mean, we, we need to work on getting water, period. At least one time. Yeah, let's just do it like this. All right, let's see the healing here. Healing plants, sickness goes down by 19. Trait healed, no, it didn't happen, but that's okay. Fatigue, depression. Fatigue went way down. Crafting goes up a little bit. We gained a level. Perfect. And we made the arrows. Very nice. All right. We can hunt four times on that, which is good. We'll need to do that as well. Okay. Now, we need to worry about getting some wood. Okay. So, as far as wood chopping goes, we need to keep you guys at the tent. Actually, we probably need to put you... You have, a, uh, you have the highest forestry, I do believe. Let's double check that. Forestry is 41 forestry is 57 yeah yeah by by all means he is definitely the best at wood cutting plus let's take a look at his level and see what we can do experienced explorer exp exploration exp immobile fortress battle health plus four ap minus two i don't know if that's a good thing He's not going to do any exploration. 
probably not any cooking either. Not to say that he's above that or whatever, but a mobile fortress might be a good deal. Let's let's go ahead and learn it. I hate losing two AP, but having the extra hit points, I mean, he might just be able to face tank a little bit more, you know. All right. Um. Our water is in a decent spot right now. Now we really need some wood for the fire. Let's just hold off on water just for a bit. Um, you're going to grab wood. That's fine. You probably... Hmm. I'll tell you what, let's change out a couple of rolls here. Can she cook better or what? Cooking is 35. Cooking is 41. Yep. Oh, I just clicked off the screen by accident. Uh, no, that's not what we want to do at all. God dang it. <laughs> I'm getting things backwards, man. I'm getting confused. My bad. Um, yeah, we're going to be... You're, you can cook. All right. Because your cooking skill is decent. Um, oh, wait. We have nothing to hunt with. We're going to need to hunt. Eek. All right, that's okay. Kari can hunt. I think this will be the best thing. I'm not going to have any food to cook tonight. It's going to kind of suck. But I needed arrows, so wasn't much that I could do about that, right? All right. Let's get, let's get it started. Twenty-one sickness, very nice. Five raw meat, okay. And a couple more pelts, cool. His forestry is going up, which is good. Five wood. It's not the most. We'll be able to use that for the fire, though. All right. Oh, no. That's the weather effects. All right. We're at 100, and we still have a couple wood. This is going to be tough, man. Oh, the fire efficiency because of the drought, right? Okay, that should be good for the night. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we'll stoke the fire one more time. Actually, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Just in case we need it for tomorrow. Um, everything else looks good. Let's go ahead and end turn. Or end the day. <laughs> hey, lady, that's a cool tattoo you have. Thanks, child. That's the mark of my clan. We are known as the Anna Bugisha, a female warrior's clan. Wow, so cool. At home, only men had the right to go on raids. Women are only allowed to make children and cook. The art of war knows no boundaries of gender, but only women can bear a child. That's why we're better than men. But let them believe the contrary. <laughs> it would be rude otherwise. Aha, I like your style, Lady Tomo. You'll teach me the way of the Anu Bugisha? I can teach you some moves with a blade, but be warned, the swordsman without principle is just a vulgar killer. You must sharpen your mind and abide with the code of honor if you want to wield a blade like a knight. Translation, I have to listen to her bullshit while practicing. Okay, I could do it. Of course, I'm ready, feeling more honorable. You're a great teacher, Lady Tomo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> she pretty much called it straight out. <laughs> Oh, her sickness is finally down, y'all. Finally. 
now that that's down, I can focus on other stuff like food. Okay, and crafting, of course. Okay, that'll leave us 425 water for tomorrow. Not bad. Oh. <laughs> Silly. Okay, time to share the food. 61. Yellow. 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 And the highest is... Oh, we still have two pieces to give, too. Very nice. All right. I'm happy with that. A little bit of sickness all around. Some injury, man. We're going to need to treat her. Her injury is getting very, very high. Moira could treat her. Which will be good. Yeah, everybody's going to have to stay at the tent a little bit. Uh, we got drought again today. Okay. So, let's look at the healing tent here. You're going to be here. And I'm pretty sure you're going to be here. And we can focus on wounds. 14 to 24 adds a chance to remove a random treat for patients. Lower sickness and injury states by 7 to 12 each. Her sickness is 43. We really need to focus on wounds first, though, and get that as low as possible, I think. Healing plants are going to be a big deal, too. We need to get somebody in the garden. Okay. Garden. We need a garden, and we're going to need a healing tent. I mean, a, uh, sorry. Garden, and let's see. What does the garden take? Wood and rocks. There's a lot of stuff to get before that. Um, tin rope as well. So if we if we use rope for anything else, we won't be able to build any further. Because we don't have hemp yet. So garden is definitely something that we need to build. Let's look at... What's the harvesting camp again? A lot of groves full of juicy fruit that we can find in forest fruit can be eaten and turned into juice. So rather useful. No, that takes rope. We don't want to do that. Um, herbalist that takes rope as well dang yeah garden is definitely the way that we have to go but we need fishing camp what is fishing camp fishing, ta fishing camp takes rope too pens take rope everything takes rope a dryer enables the possibility to dry three raw fish or meat enables possibility to dry four fresh fruit how much was the harvesting camp? The harvesting camp took um, rope. Yeah, yeah. Garden has to be what we build next. Now, the question is, can we possibly, like... Let's see if we can upgrade the hunting camp. Hmm. Previous recipe must be crafted. Ah, see. I bet you it's like the workshop or something. The lumber camp, we'd have to unlock that too. Yep. Okay, so let's see. Workshop. Upgrades. Unlocks tier 1 upgrades. We were 62% complete with that. It doesn't take anything but time. So I'm definitely going to do that. I don't know why I lost focus in that. Oh, choose crafting plan. I thought that was the crafting plan, man. I guess not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just didn't click on it. My bad. Um, okay. Who's chopping wood today? We need food that we can cook. So you need to hunt. You're going to chop wood. Her scavenging is terrible anyway for that. 
Okay. Yeah, I need wood, mining, god, there is so much to do. Actually, we could probably switch you guys around 29 and 33, 33 and 28. It's a it's a much bigger uh, it's it's very very close like that I like that okay let's do it like this then gets get rid of some of that injury she's still an orange man trait healed small wound very nice she'll stop bleeding finally and courage goes up that's interesting. So close, man. Anybody could bring that up, though. So anybody that's not busy, you know. Three raw meat. That's kind of poor. But better than nothing, I suppose. Four wood. Okay. We're looking all right. We're looking all right. Okay, probably want to do one more round of hunting. Let's do it like this, actually. And we need a set for a cook. To make the food better, yes? Uh, recipes. We'll try to go for three. Okay. Uh, let's see. Camp condition. What? What is missing here? Rest area. Oh, okay. Uh, healing tent's fine. It takes bandages. Scroll to current position at camp. Oh, yeah. Sleep quality is minus 10% because I don't have any fabric built. Oh, I used it all. Yeah. We'll need to craft some more of that. Or gather some more of it. Whatever. And we need a medic for you. Who is going to be the medic for you? Can you heal, Tomo? Oh, anybody can do that, though. Hmm. So many different things to look at. Let's see here. I think we pull her out the tent and let her rest, actually. Well, no. Let's pull her out the tent because we really don't have a standing medic right now. And we can make her... Can you do mining, dear? You can do 23 mining. I guess it won't be so bad. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Oh, thank goodness. I was afraid that she wouldn't get it. I was going to be so mad. All right. We got the tier th one upgrades done. Very nice. Fatigue is high. I have to start resting them out. One roasted meat. Two crap meals. What a waste. What a waste. Four meat. Go! Oh! oh, I got a rash. Oh my god. Seriously? Fatigue is that high. He almost worked himself to death. <sighs> All right. Jeez, man. That's the end of the day. Can't believe. At least I got a little bit of food to share. Everything's all right, Tomo? 
I wanted to know, when do we stop kneeling in front of Bjorn? When do we stand up and fight? Tomo, you know we can't, right? We can't do a thing about it for now, so we must endure. You talk like a peasant, you're weak. Wow. Let's get angry. You should watch your tongue, woman. We give you shelter. We can kick you out of the camp at any time. Keep that in mind. It wouldn't be honorable, but you don't know anything about honor. At least you know at least you show some guts. Keep this attitude to Bjorn, your real enemy. Someone died. On day 16, after the exile, our beloved Eric died of extreme fatigue. He couldn't sleep at night for days. Every move was hurting him. He didn't complain, but the daily tasks were too much for his body to bear. He suddenly fell down on his knees and passed out, his head hitting the ground with a bad, gritty sound. May Hela accept him on her long boat and guide his spirit on the elven rivers to the sacred land of Gamil. When others found him dead, Kari broke into tears, Bladawood broke into tears, Moira shed a tear, Lady Tomo was overjoyed. Wow. During his time spent with the group, he spent 12 days crafting, chopped wood six times, mined four times, and took three naps. Wow. Game over. Everyone died in Vinland. You survived 16 days. The threads of fate are flat, fragile. Sadly, Eric died. This provoked the dispersion of the community. They split up in small groups, scattered in every corner of the island. Without the mutual assistance, they brought each other. They perished one by one from the many dangers of the island. The main one being Bjorn and his band of merry thieves and bullies. Because of Bjorn's rule, no one ever managed to colonize the island. His band of thieves and pillagers lived in decadence and strife until they depleted all the resources of the island. Wow. So we got some statistics to look over. Cumulative stat increases. Wow. Maximum damage dealt 3, accuracy ratio, total damage received. Crazy, man. Wow. So, so with this, there's a couple of routes I can go, right? I could load the game uh, from the last save and just continue. We weren't in hardcore mode or anything. Um, I could start fresh or I could finish up the series. So I think a lot of this is going to weigh, like I really do like the game. I think it's a lot of it's going to weigh on how the next these last few videos performed because I do bulk recording I'll take a look at it and what else is on my workload I really enjoyed the game uh, but that's what I do right I showcase indies and um, and and when it comes to what I feel is a, a natural ending for the series um, I usually move on so we'll see how it looks you guys uh, I'm definitely open to your suggestions and feedback um, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, give me some dab on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time.